from my time, I used to work for um, a large organisation, um, and I spent quite a long time actually flexing my style so much that I lost sight of the, the beautiful things that I offer. Um, and when I started focusing on not trying to do everything myself mm. and just focus on the things that I do best, and I fortunately had an amazing line manager who really valued um, diversity and inclusivity, what it enabled me to do was to find all of the skills that people had around me and harness those. And as a team, we actually found that we had somebody who loved strategy, somebody who loved communication, somebody who was really passionate about crossing the T's, dotting the I's. So on a very small level within our group, we ended up having some amazing work where we worked collaboratively and had better results. And it got me wondering how much if you allowed everybody, you invited everybody into your organization and allowed them to really focus on doing what they do best, how, many more business results you could have if everybody was doing that company-wide. Um, yeah. Just think everyone's got something really unique to offer and unless you invite that in, oftentimes people will mould themselves to the situation they're in rather than giving themselves permission to just show up as they are. And I've seen time and time again just how amazing it is when you invite people in as they are yeah. um, and value for them for what they bring. And that's the amazing thing about being genuinely inclusive, isn't it? That you actually invite different people, different perspectives, different points of view, different ways of working, and together you actually build something much bigger than if everyone had been forced to be exactly the same. Yeah, hmm. absolutely. I think um, there's so many, everybody sees the world through their own lens anyway. They've all got different experiences to bring to the mix. And they all have a completely different viewpoint of the world. And, and oftentimes we can be expecting people to come and like see the world from our perspective. Yeah. Um, but you can create different avenues when you allow people to share almost their different maps and bring them together. And I just think there's so much power in that. Um, so many more creative solutions that people can find to problems and challenges. Exactly, yeah, and I think so much more satisfying for employees as well, like to mm. feel that they can come and be themselves and be appreciated for what they bring, what yeah. they uniquely bring. What did you think about the presentation, the how to bring people in in an inclusive way? Because obviously you you work with people about how to sounds like how to bring their own diverse ideas and perspectives in once they're in the organisation, but what did yeah. you think about how to really bring people in in an inclusive way? Mm, I thought that was, it was really amazing. I love the idea of tailoring everything in order to encourage different people to be able to show what they're capable of yeah. at every single stage. So there's always that Einstein quote that I love, which is, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life thinking it's stupid. Yeah. And I wonder how many people have left assessment centers where they've been doing a task that just wasn't really what would enable them to shine, and they've gone home going, oh, God, I'm just really stupid. Mm. Um, so I love that, the idea of actually designing things and crafting things so that you're allowing different people with different skill sets to really show what they're capable of. And um, what I also really loved was actually sharing with people why this is important and why it's valuable so that you can get different diverse assessors um, and people on board with the, the whole idea of diversity um, yeah. and inclusivity. Um, because I think without people championing it, you can bring people in, um, but then when they're in the organisation, they might revert back to putting the mask on, being ex you know, um, doing things the way that it's always been done. So I think um, creating that culture of inclusivity is just so important. And I loved um, the idea of yeah helping people get over their biases to just recruit people that are like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because actually the point is you want people that are going to perform best once they get in the role and bring their best to the organisation. And if you're only looking at a narrow group of people that sort of feel like you, then you're really narrowing your 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 options in a way you're narrowing the amount of talent that come in well thank you so much for talking to me it's been really interesting i'm glad to meet someone who's really passionate about inclusivity yeah, pleasure it's been amazing i'm really delighted that you're doing this and it's been yeah really interesting and thought-provoking to listen to you so thank you so much great thanks enjoy the conference thank you.